If you want to use the micro MIDI with the Metropolis, there's just a few things you need to set up to get it to work properly. First of all, we need to change the Metropolis to external sync. So now you can see it stopped playing back because it's waiting for an external clock signal. If we trigger playback from Ableton, uh, the micro MIDI is now lit up. It's transmitting clock on both the 16th and the clock outputs. The 16th division is fairly commonly used by your rack sequencers. The clock output can be set to different clock divisions by using the blue clock division button. We're just going to go ahead and take the 16th output to the clock input. And the other connection that we make is the reset output to the reset input. Those are the only connections you need to make. And you can see the Metropolis is now uh, receiving a clock signal and playing back in time with Ableton. If we hit the BPM button, we can see that it's running at the same tempo as our session. This blinking light here means that the BPM has not been locked. So that means that the Metropolis is dynamically calculating the tempo based on the clock input. So when the Metropolis loses that clock signal, it can't perform that calculation. And once playback starts, it's going to skew that average. So it's dynamically creating an average of the incoming clock signal to calculate the gate lengths. And so if we start playback, you'll notice the BPM drops down and counts back up. So this is it regaining the clock signal, recalculating that average. This won't affect the downbeat of your gates, but it will affect the gate length. And so in order to avoid that, just hit the BPM button again. Now the BPM is locked with my session. If I stop playback and restart playback, it's immediately in sync. If you go into the config menu and go to the reset page here, there's two reset modes, reset F and reset N. So depending on the way your DAW works, and depending on which mode you're using on the Metropolis, you may want to change the reset mode to make sure that the Metropolis starts in sync with your host session. The fixed modes are the easiest to sync with uh, a DAW session. If you find that notes hang when you stop your sequence, uh, that's probably because you're on the held gate mode. So just be aware that that may happen from time to time. Similar to the clock division output on the micro MIDI, the Metropolis has division on input and division on output. And so division input lets you change the way that the Metropolis reacts to the incoming clock. So if we increase the division input, it's going to make the Metropolis playback more slowly. Division output affects the clock output of the Metropolis. So if you're syncing another piece to the Metropolis, this will affect the timing. Or if you're triggering something else, this will affect the timing that the Metropolis sends. The Metropolis also has these auxiliary inputs, and you can assign different parameters to those inputs. So these work very well with the CC and mod outputs from the micro MIDI. Mod refers to the modulation wheel and CC is configured to breath control, but can be changed to aftertouch in the online configuration utility. Both of these parameters can receive automation from Ableton.